hi students uh, today we will discuss about the basics of power systems which is our third unit in our b triple course basics of electrical and electronics engineering course these are the contents of this chapter here the chapter begins with the layout and operation of various power stations in our syllabus we have hydro power station thermal power station nuclear power station solar and wind generating stations after then uh, ac power supply schemes we will discuss then uh, elements of transmission line and uh, types of distribution systems we will discuss in this uh, video lecture i will explain about the hydro power station so hydro power plant generally the electricity by the hydro power is one of the cleanest methods of uh, producing electrical power hydroelectricity is the most widely used uh, form of renewable energy uh, in this uh, in this power plant the power plant first of all power plant definition is uh, the plant where the electrical power is generated if the electrical power is generated by means of hydel power then you called it as a hydro power plant so in this uh, power plant uh, hydel energy is required to run the hydro turbines so this uh, hydro turbines uh, are the mechanically coupled to the generator to develop the electrical energy uh, suppose uh, here in this animation uh, picture here the green color rotating one is the turbine outer periphery of the turbine is arranged with some buckets here uh, water is uh, uh, passed through the uh, forcefully on the buckets when due to this uh, water force the buckets will move now the entire turbine will rotate like this this turbine develops mechanical energy by means of the hydel energy now this mechanical energy is transferred to the generator by means of mechanically coupling to this generator the generator will generate electrical energy by taking mechanical energy as the input from the turbine so this is about the concept next coming to this layout this is a layout of the hydro power plant so here uh, the basic components we will discuss in the next slides so the first one a dam and reservoir so in order to uh, create uh, electrical energy from the hydel energy we need to store the water so in order to store the water we need to construct a dam here uh, uh, the water is uh, stored behind this dam the place where the water is stored you called it as a reservoir okay so the dam is generally constructed on a large river in uh, hilly areas uh, to ensure the sufficient uh, uh, water storage okay and uh, the dam uh, uh, forms a reservoir large reservoir behind it the height of the water level in the reservoir determines uh, how much uh, uh, potential energy is stored in it okay so this height of this uh, reservoir the height of the water level in the reservoir that you called it as a head as level as the head increases more amount of potential energy is stored in the water that's why the next one uh, wall house this is a wall house in some literature they called it as a control gate also so here uh, uh, water from the reservoir is allowed to flow through the penstock uh, the amount of water which is to be released in the penstock can be uh, controlled by this uh, pen can be controlled by a control gate or wall house when the control gate is uh, suppose uh, fully opened a maximum amount of water is released through the penstock clear suppose if it is uh, opened partially a limited amount of water is passed through the penstock so 
next one penstock what do you mean a penstock penstock is a it is a, a large steel pipe it carries water from the reservoir to the turbine and uh, the here the potential energy of the water in the reservoir is converted into the kinetic energy as it flows through the uh, penstock due to the gravity is it right or not when maximum potential energy is there a maximum kinetic energy is developed okay next water turbine here the water turbine water from the penstock is taken into the water turbine the turbine is mechanically coupled mechanically coupled to the uh, generator mechanically coupled to the electrical generator the kinetic energy of the water uh, drives this uh, drives the uh, generator drives the turbine and and uh, immediately the generator gets uh, drive, driven okay so there are uh, uh, the, as the kinetic energy is more then the turbine uh, uh, mechanical power developed by this turbine also more the same mechanical energy is given as a input to the generator okay uh, when after this uh, conversion of this uh, uh, kinetic energy of water into the mechanical energy of this uh, turbines the water will flow uh, out and uh, and uh, 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 collected in the draft tube after then it will pass us through the river generator a generator is actually mounted in the power house it is uh, mechanically coupled to the uh, turbine shaft uh, when the turbine blades are rotated here the turbine blades are rotated uh, it drives the generator electricity is generated which is then stepped up with the help of the transformer for the uh, further power transmission purpose okay next surge tank here this surge tank are uh, usually provided in uh, high or medium head power plants which are uh, uh, considerably long penstock is required a surge tank is a, a small tank which is open at the top here then the top side it is open it is uh, fitted between the trans uh, reservoir and the power hose here this is a power hose this is a power hose where the power is generated and this is the reservoir here uh, the surge tank is uh, located in between the reservoir and the power hose the water level in the surge tank rises or falls to reduce the power swings in the penstock actually when there is a sudden reduction in the load on the turbine the governor the governor will close the gates of the turbine okay governor is a one mechanism uh, which will control all the operations so it will uh, close the uh, gates of this uh, turbine uh, to reduce the water flow uh, this causes uh, pressure to increase abnormally in the penstock this is prevented by using the uh, surge tank in which the water level rises to reduce the pressure reduces the pressure on the other hand the surge tank uh, provide excess water uh, needed when the gates are open gates are suddenly opened to meet the increased load demand okay that is the purpose of the surge tank and uh, coming to the uh, working of this uh, hydro power plant uh, just now we discussed all the basic components in the hydro power plant uh, here this animation picture will clearly indicates uh, what is the direction of the water inflow into the turbine and how the turbine blades are rotated by the motion of this uh, uh, water by the motion of the kinetic energy of this uh, mo water how the turbine blades are rotated so here the turbine shaft is connected to the generator so that's why you are giving mechanical energy uh, as an input to the generator the generates the generator will generate the electricity uh, it is uh, the generator principle is already discussed in the second chapter now the electricity generated by the generator is collected uh, uh, is uh, uh, transmitted through the transformer and this is a transmission line uh, indication so this spark indicates how the power is uh, transmitted through the transmission line okay 
and uh, coming to the advantages of this uh, hydro power plant uh, here uh, uh, water is uh, uh, water is used for uh, uh, um, generating uh, the electricity so that's why the water acts as a fuel so the no extra fuel is uh, required so we can uh, uh, we can uh, use the water as the fuel for this uh, power plant so uh, there is no extra fuel is required that is the main advantage of this uh, hydro power plant and uh, here there is uh, no uh, pollution uh, is uh, pollution smoke smokes coming from the uh, from this power plant so that's why it is a neat and clean source of energy okay and uh, uh, for running uh, sorry for um, running charges for this power plant is uh, very low uh, since the uh, water is, if uh, water is available uh, and it is a uh, free of cost and comparatively suppose uh, when you compare to the remaining hydro power plants uh, uh, which we discussed uh, uh, sorry uh, comparatively for the remaining from the remaining power plants uh, uh, which we will discuss in the next classes uh, here the less maintenance cost is required and it has a longer life okay uh, and one more the main advantage of this uh, hydro power plant is in addition to the generating of this uh, electricity uh, the water which is uh, stored in the reservoir okay uh, the main purpose of this uh, water we can uh, use for uh, irrigation purposes also okay in addition to the generating the electricity okay next coming to the disadvantages of this uh, hydro power plant uh, we need a um, um, high capital cost for the construction of this uh, dam and uh, we need a, a very large space uh, for this uh, uh, storage of water and uh, and one more thing uh, large quantity of water is required in order to generate the uh, large amount of energy large amount of electrical energy and uh, since these uh, uh, hydro power plants are located uh, uh, far away from the consumers uh, so that's why the power transmission after developing of this electrical power we have to transmit that transmission of this electrical power uh, needs uh, uh, high cost why means uh, we are uh, we will transmit that uh, uh, electrical power by constructing electrical towers and uh, transmission lines so that's why it needs a high cost okay thank you